are being mauled by a pit bull Christmas Day. Just two months ago, the Metro Council adopted a revised animal ordinance to try and prevent attacks like this one. WAP's Keitha Nelson spoke with the little boy's family tonight. Keitha? Donna, little Darius Clark's entire right leg has bites on it, from his foot all the way up to his inner thigh, where the pit made a 13-centimeter deep bite. He's able to hop around now, but his family says this is one Christmas day Darius will never forget. Raise it up, baby. As Velma Geisy tends to her son's wounds, she thinks back to Christmas Day. The sounds of Darius screaming out for her still linger in her mind. We have it so fast. Just 15 feet away from her child, she was in shock and could not get to him. We always say what we'll do if something happened. I always said I'd gouge their eyes out or something. Baby, I was stuck. I was froze. This is Sweet Pea. The one-year-old pregnant pooch pounced on little Darius after getting loose while her owners gave her water. Darius's older sister barely escaped the dog's wrath herself. At first he came at me. I didn't know what he wanted to do, so I jumped on top of a car. Morgan watched as Sweet Pea's owners punched the pit continuously. She was beaten with a bat until it broke, but the dog simply would not let go of the six-year-old. scared me to see him getting through like a dog. I thought he was going to die, and after he killed Darius, I thought he was going to come for me. Witnesses say after about ten minutes, which felt like an eternity to Geisy, Sweet Pea was finally knocked unconscious. I was scared to death. And it's grace of God that my baby's still alive. Under the recently revised animal ordinance, Sweet Pea is now considered a dangerous dog. Animal control agents say the incident is still under investigation. The pit's owners has not been fined as yet, and currently the dog is being held in quarantine. Donna? Our best hopes for the kids.